Howdy y'all, and welcome back to my little corner of the world, as well as I am able because I am is able. Today I wanted to share a little life hack that has helped me quite a lot recently that I thought might help somebody else out there. When I hurt my neck about six or seven years ago, um, one thing that really drastically changed was my ability to feel connected to music and to worship because Sometimes the sound is too much and I have to turn everything down because the vibration of the sound is really hard on my neck pain. But when I'm able to feel strong enough to go to church and take that on, I still can't sing. I still can't hit my legs and deal with the vibration coming from my arm or my legs. And even the sound of my own voice sometimes creates vibration against my neck that means I can't sing along with the music. So I have felt very disconnected from worship pretty much since my fall. It also has caused eye strain, which makes it very hard for me to see the lyrics up there, which has caused its own problems. But that's a totally different story for a totally different video. But now I wanted to address the actual being part of the music. Recently, I was at church and feeling that sense of really that disconnect and all I could think of was back in the day when I used to play cajon um, how I would play it was either with my hands or sometimes if I wanted to to make a little bit more of a hi-hat hat sound I would use what's called a drum brush for those of you unfamiliar with that whether you play drums or not it's literally a brush you can close it up you can make it tighter or you can make it wider to make different sounds depending on what you're looking for. Frankly, I really think that more churches drum sets could use some of these because they really can add to different sounds for things like hymns that don't have a lot of dun 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 beat sounds, but that's a personal opinion. For how I use these and how I think it could help somebody else out there is that when I want to be part of worship but I don't really have grip strength or ability to handle the vibration, I can open this up. I can put my finger through here if I have no grip strength that day. I can simply do this against my leg while it's hanging down here. And I can still feel like I'm part of the song, part of making music, even if I can't with my own voice, with my own hands, with whatever that might be. And when I'm feeling a little bit stronger and have a little more strength, but I still can't handle the vibrations, if I have grip, I can play it up here. The great thing about this is that because it's not the stick, I won't get bruises on my legs. And because it can be more or less together, um, it can be louder or quieter so the people around me won't be too bothered by this drumming sound in the middle of the seating area of church. So you can sound like this and hardly be heard, or you can get a little bit more aggressive so that you can hear it, so that people around you can hear it if you're into that sort of thing. I really like that I can be more versatile with it. I can play with my grip and really actually kind of have an OT session in the middle of church. <laughs> um, but mostly I love that I can feel a part of worship, even when my pain levels are too high to typically do the worship things that the rest of the congregation is able to do. This also applies to if I'm just listening to regular music as well. If I really want to get into it, but I can't dance and I can't sing to it because my pain levels are too high, I can always grab one of these. Now, the fun thing about this is that they really aren't that expensive. They can range in price from about $6 to about $26 on Amazon or your local music shop. And some of them even come with a little bag that you can transport them in. They usually come in a set of two so that you can do them on either leg, so you can do two of them at the same time, or you can just do one if you just wanna do one sound. I really, really like these. And, you know, optimistically, if I get better um, and I wanna play hot on my cajon, I can still use these on my cajon. I don't recommend them on all cajons. Some of them won't take the scratching, some of them will, so 
take that into account if you are thinking about using these on a cajon. Also, never use it on someone else's cajon without asking them. I mean, rule of thumb, pretty much don't play someone else's instrument without asking them, but you know, just saying. So if you were like me and your pain levels have brought you to a place where you don't feel like you can do music anymore, I really encourage you to look at alternative ways that you might be able to do music, to be a part of music. For me, that was brushes, drum brushes. Hopefully I'll be able to get back to the point where I can play guitar and play cajon and sing, um, not necessarily all three at the same time because that is quite the trick. But for right now, when my pain scales are typically pretty high, especially on a Sunday morning, this at least opens an avenue for me to be able to be part of worship. And I hope it can maybe do that for somebody else out there who needed this video today. God bless y'all. Thank you for watching so far and ciao for now. Bye.